Welcome back to the channel. My name is Malcolm. Thank you for joining me. This is the Urban X Academy channel where we talk about all things business, excellence, life, and everything in between. Uh, I'm a business owner. I have two businesses. I'm a father as well, and I run a business with my family. So I like to talk about all of those things. Now, with that being said, you see I have a lot going on. I don't have a lot of time to sit on my phone and, and create content and worry about what to post and when to post. It can be a headache, and I, and I really just don't have the mental bandwidth to do all of that stuff. So I rely heavily on uh, apps and programs that help me you know, uh, alleviate and automate a lot of these tasks for me, okay? Now, two apps I'm going to talk about today have been a game changer for me, especially lately. A lot of people who follow me, a lot of my friends, they've been hitting me up like, yo, Mal, you've been everywhere on social media lately. Like, how are you doing it? Like I said, I have two businesses. I have a two-year-old who is every bit of two. You know what I mean, parents out there. He's every bit of two. I have my lady at home. I have responsibilities as well. So I can't just be, you know, just... Worrying about when to post and what to post all the time. So I automate a lot of that stuff, okay? And I'm going to talk about two things, and I'm going to show you how I do it. But before we get into it, um, I don't know if I said this at the, t at, at the beginning, but I do run a family business, and I do help coach other families on how to grow their family business. Now, if you have a family business, and you want to grow it, or you don't have one, and you want to get started, you don't know how to start, you know where to start, you can visit blackfamilybiz.com slash income. you get a free case study and a free ebook and a lot more free resources, uh, you know, access to podcast episodes, all that good stuff, okay? But let's get into this. Two apps that I use to speed up this process to automate and and schedule all this good stuff is CapCut and Later App, okay? Now, later.com, you can go visit later.com, I think it's called, well, I think it is, and you can see the app there, and it's on your phone as well. Now, I'm gonna show you um, both of these apps. They both have uh, mobile and desktop versions. Now, for CapCut, I recommend the mobile version. For Later, I recommend the desktop version, and, and I'll explain why. Now, exactly. So, uh, CapCut has the desktop version, but the editing can get a little wonky when you're trying to uh, put captions in or when you're trying to edit the captions, and I'll show you why in a minute. And then on later.com, you because it's a scheduler, you want to get the full view of what the scheduler looks like or how your content is laid out for the entire week. So, I'm going to go in right now. To CapCut, I have a clip already set up for me. It's, it's a one-minute clip that I got from a previous podcast episode that I did. So I'm going to use that clip, uh, create a you know a title, put the captions in. Very simple, very easy. And then I'm going to schedule it in later.com, and then it'll be up for everybody to see at a later date. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to go to CapCut. Right, so when you get into CapCut, all you have to do is just press uh, New Project. Okay, so I have a bunch of content here. I have the, the clip that I choose. Okay, I'm going to go into the bottom and going to Ratio. Going to this one. I'm going to, okay, boom. Okay. Okay, so now in this video, I'm talking about um, relying too heavily on paid traffic uh, for your content, right? So I'm going to title it something, uh... okay? So I type that in, but you can't really see that, right? You can't really see this. I'm going to edit how that looks, okay? So I can take this or this one. I like this one. I'm going to go to shadow, right? So you can see a little bit better. Oops, no blur. Go back to text. No. That's the size a little bit. Maybe a canvas. Let's see, orange, okay. Orange, height, okay. Now, 
Okay. So I have the cover in now. Then I'm going to change and I'm going to add subtitles to the video. Now, you might be wondering, like, why is that important? Like, why is that important? Because a lot of times when people are scrolling on Instagram, they don't have their volume on. So you want to be able to catch, you know what, you want to be able to get their attention on the video, uh, whether their sound is on or off. So you probably, and you've probably seen a lot of people doing this with their short form content, putting a lot of captions and pictures and stuff like that. And that sometimes that, that can take a lot, but this is very simple. You can just auto generate the captions and it's all done for you. So going down here, press this, auto captions, bang, start. And it's gonna take a few seconds and then you have some captions, okay? So at so it says uh, seven invalid captions were identified. You press done, okay? And then sometimes you might have to go in and edit the captions yourselves because sometimes you might not speak as clearly as you want or uh, the auto-generated captions might catch a word that doesn't really make sense. So you have to go back in and sometimes, sometimes, sometimes check what you said. Now, let's go back to the video. So... This is where the caption is down here. I'm going to delete that because I don't want it next to the title sequence. Bang. I'm going to delete this as well. Nope, 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 nope. Delete, delete. Delete that. Okay. So this is where it says. So you can barely see that. So I'm going to go to style. I'm going to make sure we hit uh, apply to all captions right here. Okay. I'm going to put the caption up. I'm going to change it to this. I'm going to put the shadow in so you can see that a little better. Go back to text, size. Okay, so I'm going to press play. So as you can see, that works great. Okay, so the words are in there so you can go through, kind of speed through if you see anything. Now, I'm, just for this uh, example, I'm going to just kind of speed through this. And at the end, if you don't want the cap cut uh, 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 watermark in there, stuff like that, you can just delete that as well. Hit the upload, hit the export button, and it's going to take a few seconds to do this as well. And then it is on your phone. As that is uploading to my phone, you can do two things, okay? You can either uh, manually upload this video to uh, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, TikTok, or you can, you know, YouTube Shorts. You can do that manually, or you can upload them to later.com in your phone or on your desktop computer, which I, I recommend. It's kind of easy to see things, okay? So you upload it to your desktop computer and you can schedule it out for what time and what day on multiple apps at the same time. Now, YouTube Shorts isn't on there yet. Hopefully, they'll work on that, but definitely. Uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok now, um, LinkedIn as well. I don't think LinkedIn does reels, but Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Those are the three if you were doing short form content like reels and things like that. So let's dive in to uh, the later app and I'll show you how to schedule out your post. Okay, so now we're on later.com. I'm going to go, this is how it looks. Um, these are the past weeks, the past week, this is, uh, a lot of posts that I've scheduled for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Okay. So this is the current week we're on, we're on Friday. So let's go to the Dropbox and I'm going to upload and I'm going to upload a, a the video I just did on CapCut into later.com so I can schedule it to those three social media apps. Okay. So now it is uploading to uh, my media here and then I'm going to be able to uh, create that create a caption for all three and schedule it at a date and time so today's Friday I'm going to schedule it for today and then if you follow me on the gram at Malcolm X Bowser right you can see the post up there and you see I'm living my raps I'm doing what I show what I'm showing you how I do it how I teach my clients to do it to save time because a lot of people we have families we have responsibilities we can't just be on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok all day okay and if you have a YouTube channel as well this works great for uh, YouTube shorts I'm not sure when um, later is going to add YouTube on there I don't think they ever will but do it. That's an extra step. 
do it uh, short form content is doing very well right now so you want to um be cognizant of that okay so i'm in here now okay so this is the post i just created let's go to create posts and okay so this is where it's going and i'm going to create a easy caption very easy okay now on later.com what you want to make sure is you have this auto publish button filled so it can automatically go on instagram now you have to have a business account on instagram and on tiktok if i'm correct okay so you make you have to make sure that it's on auto publish or else later it's just going to send you a notification to publish which defeats the purpose. You want it to do everything for you. You want to automate as much as you can, okay? So make sure this auto publish button is clicked for your posts. And that's it, okay? So I just created short form content with captions that you saw it took three minutes to do, okay? For Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok all at the same time. It is scheduled, I don't have to think about it. It is ready to go. And that is it. So if you do that, if you create one piece of pillar content, let's say, that could be a 20 minute video on Instagram, a 20 minute, I mean a 20 minute video on YouTube. You're able to edit it up, take some clips. You can take quote clips, I mean quotes from what you said, create a, a stagnant post for Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it is. You can create those from that clip, I mean from that one piece of content. You can create short form content from that and you'll have a whole week's worth of content that you can schedule out and post beforehand that you're not thinking about. It is amazing and I recommend everybody do it, okay? So that is today's lesson. I hope you got a lot out of that. I hope you will use these practices for yourself. It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches and all that good stuff, okay? So my name is Malcolm and like I said at the top of this show, if you need any help building a business with your family and you wanna grow it and you wanna take it to the next level, you can visit blackfamilybiz.com slash income to get a free case study and ebook and a lot of other free resources in there that will help you take your stuff to the next level. All right, peace.